The Yugoslav dinar was a currency that, was, that, be, that began to be used in the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes from 1920, and then it was used in the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, Socialist Yugoslavia, and then in the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. The names of the, current, of the, current, of the countries changed, but not the dinar, which acquired cult status and ceased to be Yugoslav when Serbia replaced it with the Serbian dinar and Montenegro with the euro, years after the, the former Yugoslavia fell apart. At the beginning of the 80s, a decision was made to replace the existing series of banknotes with a new, more modern ones. In the new series, each individual banknote was supposed to represent one of the six republics of Yugoslavia. It would have a historical figure from that republic on the front, and a motive from that republic on the reverse. The smallest banknote of 10 dinars would, rep would represent the smallest republic, Montenegro, and the largest existing of 1,000 dinars, the largest republic, Serbia, and a new banknote of 5,000 dinars was to be introduced to, to represent Yugoslavia. The largest banknote was to be issued first, and then smaller denominations would be gradually replaced. In 1985, a new series of banknotes was issued, which began with the introduction of 5,000 dinar banknote with the image of the deceased Yugoslav president, Josip Broz Tito. This, up to that time, the largest and long-awaited banknote, caused a real storm in the public, and it continues today. Not because of its value, but because of the mistake that no one noticed from the beginning. Namely, next to the image of Tito is the year of his birth and death. Instead of from 1892 to 1980, the banknote read 1892 to 1930. So according to that banknote, Tito died 50 years earlier. What is interesting about this is that even after the error was noticed, that banknote was not withdrawn from circulation, because the director general of the Banknote Production Institute at the time said that out of 14 million printed banknotes, only 4% of them had errors. This means that about what 560,000 banknotes carried errors, and according to international regulations, a country that issues more than 1,000 banknotes with a visible error must withdraw the entire series from circulation.